Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is part three of our five part video series. Today we're gonna to talk about RAM and what exactly uh, it is and what it does for you. Right, RAM is, stands for Random Access Memory. It's not the same as your hard drive, which is what we talked about yesterday. RAM is a totally different kind of memory that your computer needs just as much as your hard drive, but for different purposes. When you use RAM, it's actually temporary memory. Your computer will store things there for a short amount of time, and it, it, needs, it needs to be able to do that so it can get access to it quickly, and then forget about it later. Right, now you know how temporary RAM can be if you've ever been using your computer in a thunderstorm and had the power go out. All that stuff you were working on just gets completely wiped out. It's no fun at all. Now, the reason we use RAM, as opposed to, say, writing everything to the hard drive, so that nothing gets lost. The reason we use RAM is because it's so fast. Um, the problem is with writing to a hard drive, have you ever used your computer and you have a bunch of files open? And you know what happens, right? The computer starts slowing down, you notice your hard drive activities increase, and that little light's just blinking like crazy on there. Well, what happened is you ran out of RAM. The computer started using the hard drive as RAM because it did, it, it, otherwise it would crash. You would have no choice but to, uh, it has to put that information someplace. And this is why more RAM is better because the more of that you have, the more of that fast memory you have, the faster your computer runs. Right, and the other thing about RAM is that we're, since we're gonna show you here on a computer how it works and where, where it goes into the computer, it's, it's also important to know that there's a lot of different types. Um, every computer out there almost has a different kind of RAM. There, it seems like it goes in generations. You'll have a couple years or maybe even less where you have a certain type of RAM and then you'll move on to the next one. So if you're ever looking to upgrade the RAM in your computer, which we'll show you uh, kind of how to do here in a second, you're going to want to go online and try to look up what kind of RAM your computer needs. You'll need to know your computer's model number and uh, you'll just, you know, you can search, there's a couple websites out there that do it, and also you can look in your computer's manual. You can also call the computer manufacturer, or if you're feeling like giving it a shot, you can open up the computer and look and see what you have in there currently. Right, and there's different types of uh, configurations for the RAM too. Some computers need to have them in pairs. Some types of RAM can be sit in there as a single stick. There's a ton of stuff that you can run into when you're trying to upgrade RAM. It's probably one of the actual, it's the actually the easiest thing to plug into the board, but the hardest thing to make sure you get the right pieces for. So definitely do that lookup that Gary's talking about. So I think probably the next step here is to go ahead and take a look and see what RAM looks like and how to, how to plug it into your system. Let's look at some RAM sticks first. These are just, here's some random sticks of random access memory. Here's some random RAM. And they're just, they're just little, uh, looks like a little circuit board. Has, has some uh, little uh, processor looking things on there. Those are all the, this is where all the memory is, is right in here. That's all, it, that, all there is to it. Let's take a look at it on a board. You can see right here we have a piece of RAM installed right here in this particular slot. Now, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but these slots are all keyed, which is good because if you run into a problem where you're trying to put the wrong kind of RAM in, it just, it simply won't fit. Now, RAM is, like we had indicated before, it's really easy. Uh, to get it out, it just pops out. You, there, there's generally two little flaps on the side. You pull them back, and it flops out. To put it back in, we're going to try to have to do this carefully because you don't want to snap the board here. Uh, okay. You just even pressure on both sides, and the little tabs will snap back up. Obviously, if you have it yeah, in it, it, a you case, would, it will not break the board when you push it in. <laughs> right, yeah, we don't want to push too hard here because we can't, uh, for the video demonstration, otherwise we could damage the board. But uh, yeah, if it's mounted properly, you'll have no problem. Just press on either side with your thumbs and it'll snap into place. That's all there is to uh, installing RAM. But again, make sure that when you're getting your RAM, you're making sure that you have the right speed, the right type. There's a lot of factors that go uh, that go into your decision there. So uh, Gary had indicated there's some websites out there that can help you. Uh, it may not even be a bad thing to take it into a local computer store and have them point you in the right direction either. Yeah, and so thanks for stopping by and watching our, uh, our uh, section here on RAM. Tomorrow we'll go into the next part. And uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can stop by worldstart.com and sign up for our computer tips newsletter where we publish these videos and all the other videos we come up with along with many, many other tips. And if you have a question for us, go to worldstart.com ask and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks for stopping by.